Hey, it's Ian uh, in the Media Lab right now. Just came from my social television class, and it was actually uh, my second to last class ever at MIT. And today is basically the end of the of the school year for me. Um, we won't graduate for another three weeks or so. But classes end today. Um, I had basic business law in the morning, social television, where we heard some feedback for our class projects, which was pretty interesting. And then I'm about to uh, go off to building nine for my last class of all, which is the uh, educational games for uh, simulation and training. And that's actually kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of a fitting class for the last class. It's, it's one which is closest to the heart of M MIT, which is kind of the uh, technical undergraduate population. I'm uh, one of only two graduate students in there. Um, and it's also in the, the heart of the campus, which is down by uh, Mass Ave and the classic building that you see when you drive along Massachusetts Avenue. It's in Building 9, which is actually part of the architecture department. The class is a comparative media studies class. It's uh, that's been a lot of fun too. Get to work. It's like a lot of things here. It's very or oriented to actually building things and doing things, not just uh, reading about or listening to theory. And uh, in my class, as I've shown on my blog, we had a couple very interesting projects that worked out pretty well. So, I guess one question that well, actually one thing that I know a lot of us are dealing with right now, all the other Sloan fellows, is We've become attached to this place. It's been a special journey for all of us. And then the question is, what do we do? What do we do next? Uh, you know, everyone, of course, is going to be going to do work of work of some sort. But also, as people, we've been changed by this experience, by being around each other, being around this great institution, and where we go from here in terms of our relationships with other people our careers and kind of our sense of discovery and understanding of the world, that's the, that's the really interesting thing. And I know that in our cohort, a lot of us are going to be going on to do some fascinating things in technology, business, nonprofits. I've even heard a couple of people talking about, um, you know, they have interest in public careers, which means politics, and it's going to be fascinating to see how, how my cohort how they, the SF-11s, how they proceed in the years to come. Um, but in the meantime, the here and now is finishing classes, submitting our last assignments, uh, saying goodbye to some uh, great people. Not so much in the cohort, because I know we're going to be we're going to be sticking around together and staying in contact. But actually, uh, people in other programs too. Like in my social television class, my student team was. Uh, two great people, younger guys. One of them was a second year MBA from Korea. The other fellow was an Italian um, who was in the uh, Master of Science and Management, which is another one year program at Sloan, a smaller program than the fellows. And it was just, I sent an email to them the other day and said, or said the project we did was really fascinating. I'm gonna put it on my blog in a couple weeks time. It was called World TV, but I was saying to them, like, the presentation uh, and then just kind of also the idea generation. This was, none of us could have done this on our own, uh, but it was only when we, when we came together and really started discussing and hashing out how this was going to work that we were able to create this great, this great um, presentation. And, and I'm proud of, it, proud of that and proud of the team and very happy I had this experience. And, you know, these guys I want to stay in contact with as well. Um, I'm going to be, I'm going to have some further contact with the with the people uh, some other people that I've, I've met here at MIT um, I have a role in the in the class as the class communicator after we graduate so that's gonna that involves being basically the glue of our cohort as we scatter to the to the four corners of the earth um, but also I'm staying involved with a project that's being developed here at the MIT media lab and I'll be talking more about that in the months to come. It's still at a pretty early stage, but it's pretty exciting stuff, and I'm proud to be a part of that too. And very excited that you know this is going to be turned into something that's, you know, I think it's a world-changing technology. But I'll tell you more about that in another episode. 
Uh, but in the meantime, this is the final episode of uh, the Sloan Fellow video blog, I think, because even though we're going to go on the international trip, and the feel's not the same now that we're not, now that I won't be taking any more classes and being a part of life uh, right here in the classrooms in and around MIT. And uh, you know what? I'm in a very special place on the campus. I talked about this one time, but on the uh, main, this is Killian Court, which is kind of the classic part of the campus. But the first time I, I walked by here, it was for, uh, as I was coming for my interview for the Sloan Fellows Program. And it's kind of a very classic looking uh, building. You can take a look right there. Kind of goes around. It was built in 1916. But one of the things that really impressed me when I came here was, as I was walking down Memorial Drive to my interview, was at the top of the edifice, there are these, the names of these, uh, all around this Killian Court, they're the names of the great uh, masters of science and discovery um, for the past several thousand years, at least in the Western tradition. Uh, there's you know, Newton, Franklin, Plato, uh, Aristotle's up there somewhere, Francis Bacon. All the last names of these these, uh, these great discoverers who kind of made the world a better place and um, you know helped further civilization, and not not in the name of some nationalistic ideals or some, the other ways that civilization had been furthered in the past, conquests and things like that, but actually for the sake of discovery and uh, finding something new and figuring out the way that the world works and uh, and really making the world a better place. And the fact that I've been able to be a part of this. Um, this institution where a lot of great thinking of our own age takes place, that's a really wonderful feeling. And uh, it's something that I'm, I'm proud to be a part of and it's kind of sad to leave. So this is the last time we do this uh, signing off Sloan Fellows video blog. This has been Ian. It's been great.